Communist China is flush with cash from the trade imbalance with the United States. Middle Eastern countries are rich with profits from the oil trade, and they are all in the market for U.S. assets. And there are major security concerns over foreign ownership of key American companies and institutions. As Christine Romans reports, America's own failed trade policies allowed this to happen. America's addiction to foreign oil and cheap manufactured goods puts trillions of dollars into the pockets of Middle Eastern governments and the communist Chinese. And those governments now have the money to buy key American assets and industries. We have a policy that builds up deficits, builds up cash reserves for other countries, and we then allow that money to come back to the country to sell off our assets. The auction is on, America is for sale, and this we should all expect this to just increase. The U.S. imports almost 14 million barrels a day of oil, 20% of that from the Persian Gulf. With oil a record 80 plus dollars a barrel, Middle Eastern governments are flush with cash and their spending. Consider Abu Dhabi's $1.35 billion investment in the politically connected Carlyle Group, and Dubai's move for a significant 20% stake in the Nasdaq stock market. That investment drew immediate calls for a national security review. We must be careful of the kinds of investments made in our critical financial infrastructure, such as financial exchanges, as well as in utilities and other areas that are vital to the operation and security of this country. The Chinese government has already shown interest in American oil assets and clearly has the money to do it. The Chinese hold an incredible $1.3 trillion in U.S. currency and bonds. As Americans spend billions on toys, shoes, and clothes made in China, China can spend those billions to invest in U.S. industry. Now, the United States is more open to direct investment than any country in the world, but should there be more serious questions for governments that are buying strategic U.S. assets? In the case of the Dubai NASDAQ deal, those companies voluntarily agreed to a national security review process. That process has yet to begin, Kitty.